scoring a double century is a dream for every cricket player. And as of now, there are 195 players in cricket history who has achieved this dream. Among them, Sir Don Bradman, Kumar Sangakkara, and Brian Lara are at top of the list with 12, 11, and 9 double hundreds, respectively. But there are few unlucky batsmen who became victims of nervous 190s and got out on 199. In this video, data trailers will discuss those unlucky batsmen in cricket history who were on 199 runs but remained unlucky to convert into double hundred. So without wasting time, let's start the countdown. Number 1. Mudassar Nazar Mudassar Nazar was one of the finest openers who played 76 tests and 122 ODIs for Pakistan. He was the first ever batsman who got dismissed on 199 while playing against India in 1984. He took 552 minutes to score 199 on 408 balls that included 24 fours. Shivlal Yadav was the Indian bowler who took wicket of Mudassar Nazar. Number 2. Muhammad Azharuddin Muhammad Azharuddin was the first Indian player to get to pavilion on score of 199. This was an unlucky experience for Muhammad Azharuddin for not getting double hundred. But his magical 199 helped Team India to score a total of Mammoth 676 runs, which was the highest test total at that time by Indian team. His innings lasted for 505 minutes, which included 16 fours and 1-6. Number 3. Matthew Elliott Matthew Elliott was Australian left-handed batsman who was dismissed for 199 against England in 1997 at Leeds. His 199 helped Australia to score gigantic total of 501 runs. His innings lasted for 440 minutes that included 24 fours and 3 magical sixes. He fell just one run short on a superb delivery bowled by English bowler Darren Gogh. Number 4. Sanat Jasuria Sri Lankan superstar Sanat Jasuria is the only batsman from Sri Lanka who got dismissed on 199 in 1997 against India. His innings lasted for 425 minutes that included 21 fours and 2 sixes. His strike rate of 88 is the best strike rate as compared to other batsmen of this list. Abe Kurvela was the bowler from India who dismissed Sanat Jasuria on 199. Number 5. Steve Waugh Steve Waugh is an Australian cricket legend with more than 10,000 runs in international cricket. But he was unlucky on 26 March 1999 when he was dismissed for 199 runs by West Indian bowler Nahemia Perry. His innings lasted for 509 minutes that included 24s and 1-6. Number 6. Yunus Khan Yunus Khan faced nervous 199s in a match against India at Lahore in 2006. He was run out by Harbhajan Singh while fielding at a short fine leg. His innings lasted for 476 minutes on 336 balls. That included 26 fours at a strike rate of 59. Although this match between India and Pakistan was drawn, but Yunus innings helped Pakistan to post a big total of 679 runs, which is a fourth highest score ever by a Pakistani team in a test cricket. Number 7. Ian Bell 
Ian Bell was one of the most prolific batsmen from England in recent years, who scored 22 test hundreds, but he missed his debut double hundred against South Africa in 2008, where he got dismissed on 199 at Lords. His superb innings lasted for 496 minutes with 24s and 1-6. Number 8. Stephen Smith June 12, 2014 was the unlucky day for Steven Smith when he missed his debut double hundred short of one run. He got dismissed at 199 by West Indian bowler Jerome Taylor. His innings lasted for 513 minutes, that included 21 fours and two sixes. He faced 361 balls with strike rate of 55. Although Steve faced nervous 199, but Australia won that match against West Indies by a huge margin of 277 runs. Number 9. KL Rahul Most of you would be surprised to hear KL Rahul. Yes, he is in the list of Nervous 199 when he was dismissed by Adil Rashid in 2016. His magical 199 included 16 fours and 3 sixes with a strike rate of 63. Due to KL Rahul's superb innings, India was able to post a big total of 759, which is still a record for India among highest test total. Although it was unlucky experience for KL Rahul, but a good experience for Indian teams as they registered an innings win over England. Dean Elgar Dean Elgar is the last player in our list, who got dismissed on 199 in 2017. While playing against Bangladesh, his innings lasted for 553 minutes with 15 fours and 3 sixes. Elgar was announced as player of the match for his superb innings that played a key role for South Africa win against Bangladesh. Now we will discuss a player who got dismissed on 299 run. He is Martin Crow. Martin Crow is the only player in history of cricket who got dismissed on 299 in a match against Sri Lanka in 1991. This score became his highest test cricket score. His innings lasted for 610 minutes with 29 fours and 3 sixes. So, getting out on 199 and 299 happens in cricket, but it is not that common. Most of these innings are in test cricket, as scoring double and triple century requires a lot of skills. I hope you have liked our video. Please support us by subscribing our channel and press the bell icon for more videos.